said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. But how can the world be changed if we still have unequal access and opportunities in higher education as a result of class-based inequalities? This proposal highlights the limitations in the contemporary approach to identifying class-based inequality within Australian education. As such, our organisation will use a pluralistic approach incorporating a fusion of qualitative and quantitative analysis. In doing this, we intend to examine the factors which facilitate this inequality so that it can be more appropriately addressed by the government in their distribution of funding. An individual's class status impacts their attendance and success within higher education. The Australian education system displaying vast inequality parallels this class divide. Whilst this link is elucidated in current research, a greater understanding of how and why this correlation exists demands a more extensive and holistic methodological approach to gain a multi-dimensional understanding of the relationship between social class and successful participation in higher education. Inequalities in access to higher education are ongoing problems in Australia. Postcode methodology, the system used by the Australian Department of Education, Training and Youth Affairs, is heavily focused on the income and demographic location of the individual, but it does not present research surrounding individual support networks. This limited understanding of the impacts on school participation and performance calls for a re-evaluation to gain a holistic interpretation of how class influences a person's journey to and within higher education. A pluralistic approach, supplementing quantitative and qualitative methodology, is needed. Extending upon the data gained through the POSCO methodology and the Australian Bureau of Statistics regarding economic position and academic results, the utilisation of surveys is proposed for secondary and tertiary students across Australia in both rural and urban areas and moreover across all states. Ideally, surveys will inquire into the nature of students' parent-child and teacher-student relationships. It will investigate attitudes towards one's current educational experience, future prospects and sense of self within their educational environment. The expectation is to identify diversity within geographical locations despite the overarching classification of suburbs as low, medium or high socioeconomic status so as to provide economic and social support for those students who are missing out because of the current postcode methodology. Adopting an interpretivist framework, the identification of our trends in the educational experiences of individuals of different classes is more costly and complex to implement than a purely statistical approach. However, its capacity to more deeply explain the causes of the class-based divide in Australian education is invaluable and is only with such insight that the issue may be more appropriately addressed by the government. As John F. Kennedy also said, children are the world's most valuable resource and its best hope for the future. We need to get it right.